Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this segment of the video, it's about a video tutorial of the subject Business Mathematics. So Business Mathematics is a specialized subject of ABM students of a K-12 program of the Philippines. This is your teacher, Ms. Joanne Salgado, or you could also call me Mom Salgado. Learning competency is under DEPED curriculum guide. The code is ABM underscore BM 11 FO dash IA dash 1. So that is perform fundamental operations on fractions and decimals. So the objectives for this lesson is at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to add and subtract similar and dissimilar fractions. First, let us review about fraction. So what is fraction? So a fraction represents the number of equal parts of a whole. So it has a numerator and a denominator. So what's a numerator and what's a denominator? So let's analyze it. So let's say we have a whole. And it says that fraction, so we divided the whole. So let's say we have a rectangle. And let's say we divided the rectangle into seven equal parts. Okay. So the number of parts the whole is divided is what we call the denominator. And for the numerator, so that represents the number of parts we have taken from the whole. So there are three types of fractional numbers. We have the proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed number. So what's a proper fraction? So a proper fraction is a fraction whose value is less than 1. For example, 1 half. So where the numerator is less than the denominator. So what's an improper fraction? So it is a fraction whose value is greater than or equal to 1. Example, 4 thirds. So as you can see, the numerator is greater than the denominator, or greater than or equal to the denominator. So how about a mixed number? So it is a number whose value is greater than 1, made up of a whole number and a fractional part. Example, 1 and 2 thirds. So what is an equivalent fraction or when do we say that fractions are equivalent? So two fractions are equivalent if they represent the same portion of a whole. It turns out that one representation can be obtained from another by multiplying its numerator and denominator pair by the same non-zero integer. Example, so 6, 8 is said to be equivalent to 3 fourths. So what is the simplest form of a fraction? So a fraction is said to be in sim simplest form when there are no common factors in the numerator and the denominator. Example, 5, 7. So there are no more common factors, so it can no longer be simplified. Okay, so we're clear with the basics about fraction. So let's proceed with our lesson, addition and subtraction of fraction. So how do we add and subtract fractions with like and unlike denominators? To add proper or improper fractions with like denominators or called like fractions, add or subtract the numerators and keep unchanged the denominator or just copy the denominator. So this leads to the following rule. 
So, A over C plus B over C. So, add A plus B and then copy C, where C is not equal to 0. So, to add or subtract fractions with different denominators, we first convert the fraction to similar fractions and then apply the above rule. Okay, for example, sample number 1, so 2, 9 plus 5, 9. So, sabi dun sa rule, for adding similar fraction, so just add the numerator and copy the denominator. Okay, so 2 plus 5 is 7 and then copy the denominator. So, our final answer is 7 over 9. Then, let's have another example. So, we have 1, 6 plus 3, 6. So, again, same root. So, add the numerator. 1 plus 3 is 4 and copy the denominator. But, always remember to express your answer in simplest form. So, for 4 over 6, meron pa silang common factor which is 2. So, divide numerator and denominator by 2 to get the simplest form. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay? So, our final answer is 2 thirds. Okay, so let's go with subtraction. So, let's say for example, we have 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So, same rule applies. So, subtract the numerator. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then, copy the denominator, which is 5. So, our answer is 2 fifth. Okay? Let's have another example. So, we have 4, 7, minus 1, 7. So, again, subtract the numerator. 4 minus 1 is 3. Copy the denominator. So, wala na siyang common factor. So, that's the final answer. So, para naman dun sa magkaiba yung denominator. So, let's give an example as well. So, let's say 3 fifth plus 1 fourth. So, to add or subtract fraction na magkaiba yung denominator, so sabi sa rule, kailangan muna natin siyang gawin na similar fraction, which is kailangan same yung denominator nila. At paano siya magiging uh, same denominator? So, we have to find the com uh, least common denominator. So, for 5 and 4, ang least common denominator nila is 20. Then we have 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 3 is 12. And 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 1 is 5. And then we can now proceed with addition. So 12 plus 5 is 17. And just copy the denominator. So no common factor. So the final answer is 17 over 20. Okay. So, try naman natin ang division, ang subtraction. So, 1 half minus 1 fifth. So, yung least common denominator nila is 10. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 1 is 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 1 is 2. Then, let's proceed with subtraction. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, just copy the denominator. So, no common factor. So, that is the final answer. How do we add and subtract mixed fraction with like and unlike denominators?
To add or subtract mixed fraction with like denominators, add or subtract separately the wholes and separately the numerators and keep the denominator unchanged. To add or subtract mixed fraction with unlike denominators, add or subtract separately the wholes and fraction part. Find the least or lowest common denominator, or we call LCD, and then add fractions. If the numerator of the first fraction is less than the numerator of the second fraction, you must rewrite the first fraction as an improper fraction by exchanging one whole. You may also convert the fraction to improper fraction and apply the previous rule. So let's have an example if mixed fraction naman or mixed number ang given. Okay, so let's have 2 and 1 fifth plus 3 and 3 fifths. So sabi dun sa rule, pwede na natin i-add yung whole number and since similar fraction naman sila, copy the denominator and then just add the numerator. We have 2 plus 3 is 5, and 1 plus 3 is 4, and just copy the denominator. So our final answer is 5 and 4 fifths. Okay, and let's try subtraction. Sample 5 and 1 fourth. Minus 3 and 3 fourth. So, mapapansin nyo, yung 1 fourth, mas maliit siya sa 3 fourth. So, paano natin sila isusubtract? So, ang gagawin natin, let's borrow 1 whole from the 5. And so, yung 5 and 1 fourth, gawin natin siyang 4 and 5 over 4. And then, copy natin yung pangalawa. Minus 3 and 3 fourths. Then, pwede na tayo mag-subtract ng mas madali. So, we have 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then, just copy the denominator. So, our final answer, hmm, hindi pa siya final answer dahil may common factor pa yung 2 and 4. So, ano yung final answer natin? So, 1 and 1 half. So, paano naman kapag uh, dissimilar siya? So, let's have an example. So, let's try 5 and 2 thirds. Plus... 2 and 4 fifths. So, since dissimilar siya, kailangan muna natin siyang i-convert into similar fraction. So, we can just, so, ang similar or common denominator nila is 15. And let's copy the whole number. Okay. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 is 10. And 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 4 is 12. Then, we can just proceed with addition. So, 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then, so 10 plus... 12 is 22 and copy the denominator. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung pangalawa natin is improper fraction. So, ibig sabihin, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify. So, yung 22 and 1, uh, 22 over 15, I mean, okay. <coughs> 
So, pwede pa natin siyang gawing 1 and 7 over 50. And then, we have 7. So, add lang natin siya. 7 plus 1. We have 8 and 7 over 15 as our final answer. Okay, so try naman natin ang subtraction. So, let's try. So, 7 and 3 fourths minus 5 and 3 fifths. So, again, common denominator of 4 and 5 is 20. So, copy lang natin yung whole number. Okay. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 3 is 15. And 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 3 is 12. Then, let's proceed with subtraction. So, 7 minus 5 is 2. 15 minus 12 is 3. And copy the denominator. So, our final answer is 2 and 3 over 20. Let's practice. So, it's your turn. Solve the following Let's try solving some word problem. Problem number one. Three-eighths of the coffee in the Philippines is grown in Cavite, specifically Amadeo, and one-third of it is grown in Batangas. How much of the coffee supply is grown in the two towns? Problem number two. You have 5 and 1 fourth kilos of lanzones for a souvenir from Laguna. You would be distributing the lanzones to your neighbors but would leave one fifth for your own family. How much lanzones will you be giving to your neighbors? Okay, that's it. I hope you're done answering those problems.
I will give the answer on the next video. Bye! See you in our next lesson!